Hi everyone, it's Miss Dana with the Parish Library bringing you summer reads to stay cool. Summer themed books for you to check out during our summer reading program. Our first book is Bats at the Beach by Brian Lees. The nighttime is a perfect time to go to the beach for this family of bats. Grab your buckets, banjos, and blankets and enjoy this nighttime trip. Mouse's First Summer by Lauren Thompson follows Mouse and Minka as they go to have a picnic at the park. They encounter ants, yummy food, grassy hills, and more. Do you plan on going on a picnic this summer? Read this book for some pretty good tips and tricks. Bradford Street Buddies Backyard Campout by Jardine Nolan follows Jada and Jamal as they have their first ever backyard campout. They haven't slept in a tent before, and neither have their friends Carlita or Josh who are also invited over. As they get set up in the dark of the backyard, they start hearing some crunching and scrunching. What is it that they hear as they camp out? Read and find out. The Sunny Day Book by Jane Bowl provides 50 outdoor projects and crafts that can be done at the garden or the park to enjoy a sunny day. From making a kite on the fly, natural art, and more, this is a great book for coming up with activities at home. When Summer Comes by Robert Mass is a book of images celebrating the different things that can be done during summer. From summer harvest, fireworks, going to the river or beach, this book illustrates all the different ways and different things people do to celebrate summer. Summer Reading is Killing Me by John Sheska follows Joe, Sam, and Fred as they get transported into the books from their summer reading list. There is a crazed bear that is running all the chaos that is wreaking havoc in the books. Are the boys able to help out and get out of their books alive? Summer of a Thousand Pies by Margaret Dillon follows Katie Bennett as she moves from San Diego with her dad to living with her aunt in the mountain town of Julian. There, she learns what stability is after being homeless, and unfortunately, her aunt's pie shop becomes threatened with closing. So, she has to do everything she can to save the pie shop and retain the stability she has finally gained and the friendships she's made. Pieces of Us by Margie Galbwasser follows four different teens from two different families. Each of them have their own tensions, relationships, and struggles during the school year. But during summer, they can be whoever they want at the lake. That is, until one of their secrets gets out and everyone is forced to face reality. Three Willows, The Sisterhood Grows by Anne Brashers is another book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This time it follows Polly, Joe, and Ama as they find their way at camp and are seeking friendship from all of the things going on within their lives. <music> Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr is the first of the Wicked Lovely series. Keen in the Summer King is desperate to find his queen so the summer will continue. Without a queen, it will perish. Meanwhile, Aislinn is doing everything she can to plan and focus on herself. Will the kingdom in summer be at peril? Read and find out. The Lumberjane series by Noelle Stevenson and Shannon Waters is a great graphic novel series following Mel, Ripley, Molly, April, and Joe spending summer at a scout camp. From paranormal phenomena, unique situations, Everything and anything can happen at this camp. 
The Summer House by James Patterson features a home that used to be a luxurious summer getaway turning to a dilapidated home where seven murder victims were found. Will local law enforcement be able to work with Major Jeremiah Cook to investigate what has really happened at the scene of the crime? The Sand Castle by Rita Mae Brown follows the recollections of Nicole as she looks back to a family day at the beach at Chesapeake Bay in 1952, where initial events and stories told ends up being a true reflection about family, heartbreak, and pleasure that comes from having loved ones around you. Burnt Mountain by Anne Rivers Siddons follows Thayer Wentworth. As a child, she had her first love and heartbreak at Camp Sherwood Forest. Later, when she's older, she marries Angus, an Irish professor, who later takes her back to that very same camp. And everything is not as it seems. The Outdoor Table, the ultimate cookbook for your next backyard barbecue, front porch meal, tailgate, or picnic by April McKinney, provides many different recipes for packing out your best food and taking it outdoors. A lot of these meals can be prepared in advance and served cold on the spot for wherever your outdoor adventures may take you. Hot color, dry garden, inspiring designs and vibrant plants for the Waterwise Gardener by Nan Sturman provides advice to add color to your garden, designing for structure and texture, and just creating a garden in the hotter southwest climate affected by drought and low water conditions. In his first ever cookbook, Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue by Rodney Scott himself and Lois Eric Eli catalogs Rodney's history, his family recipes, and what it takes to make the best barbecue at home, whether you are a pro or a novice. on these books or books like this, please visit our website. There you will find all the types of resources we offer in all our Riverside County branches near you. Thank you for watching.